Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to day 13. Lamb kebab on the way. We're gonna start by taking some eggplant to do some baba ganoush. We're gonna cut the eggplant in two and score them. And we're gonna drizzle some olive oil on top. I did a mix of ground cumin and ground coriander. We're gonna just sprinkle some on top. Give them a hefty amount of salt. And some pepper. And we're gonna put some garlic clove in there, just like that. We're gonna put the eggplant at 400 Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. Okay, while this is cooking, we're gonna do the tabbouleh. First, you want some parsley, some coriander, some mint, all chopped up. We're gonna take tomato that we deseeded, a little bit of chopped garlic, give it some salt. And we're gonna pour a lot of lemon juice. Lemon is the main flavor of this. You got the freshness of the herb, but the lemon is the main thing. And a little drizzle of olive oil. We mix it up and you got something perfect. You can put that on anything, super good. After that, we're gonna take some ground lamb. We're gonna put in some chopped onion, super fine. You gotta chop it super, super fine. I'm gonna put in some mix of spices. There's cumin, coriander, paprika, cayenne, sumac, cinnamon, so much spices. And we're gonna put in some parsley, salt it and pepper it mix it up with your hand until fully combined and looking good when that is done we're gonna divide it into eight ball and we're gonna take some wooden stick kind of want to press it all around the stick so it become kind of like a corn dog I, I don't know if you guys feel it yeah just like that once that is done we're gonna take a pan put it to high heat put some olive oil in there and cook our kebab move it around until they are fully colored and looking juicy. So we're gonna finish our baba ganoush. When our eggplant and garlic are looking cooked, we're gonna get rid of the skin and we're gonna put it into a blender. We're gonna add to that some tahini. A little bit of arisa. A small amount of honey, you don't want it to be too sweet, but it will help with the flavor. And some olive oil. And we blend it until fully smooth. And check out for seasoning, if you need more salt, you can add some. Now it's blending time. We're gonna put the puree onto a board and we're gonna do like a little, little swerve, little, little pocket so we can put stuff in it. We're gonna grab our tabouleh, put it into inside the pocket. <laughs> we're gonna grab our kebab and put it on top like a half moon. Looking good. Sprinkle a little bit of sesame seed and some olive oil. And there we have it guys, the perfect little lamb kebab, looking shiny, beautiful. I mean, this is perfect for a barbecue party, if you want to cook it. I mean, personally, I would cook that on a barbecue, but it's snowing, it's freezing outside, so no barbecue right now. But it is delicious, little bites of pleasure. And guys, be aware, this stuff is addicting. I, I just, you see all of this food, I, I ate it all by myself. It was so good. But yeah, day 13 wasn't that bad. Actually, a pre pretty good day. Like always, thank you all for watching. I shall see you day 14. Let's do it. Peace.